Good morning guys, welcome to the bank and welcome to my first video. So welcome to Freak Fishing, it's a new YouTube channel I'm starting to pretty much show you the do's and don'ts of what I'm learning in my fishing. Um, mostly because I'm learning a lot about the dead baiting at the moment. I didn't do it that much before so I'm actually quite enjoying it during the colder months, it keeps the hands a little bit easier and a little bit warmer. So today I'm using the dead baits. I'm using a pollen, pollen about that size, and a mackerel, half it, so about that size. And have it rigged up on the fox snap tackle. So it's pretty much two trebles on wire. Very simple. So in terms of the mackerel and the pollen, one through the tail and then one on the side. Now in terms of your fish is slightly curved, I like to leave it sitting on the outside of the curve rather than sitting on the inside. Just something I think might work better. No expert, but uh, she'll come along. If you see anything I'm doing wrong, if you see some way I can prove something, please feel free to, uh, to tell me in the comments below. And uh, We'll go from there. nice to see the rushes dying off. It uh, open up, opens up a lot more places to fish during the winter. During the summer this whole place completely fill in. Over there you can see there's still just the tops of where the reeds would have been growing up so you don't have much scope to fish here during the summer with the growth. But uh, during the winter now it just it opens up a right bit. So it would be nice to uh, Nice to be able to fish a few more places from the bank, especially in them very cold days. It's nicer just to be in on the bank, sheltered in. Uh, there's my living quarters for today. Just an umbrella, a chair, and then me fishing setup. So here is the setup. It's uh, two Fox Predator rods, the 3.25 pound test curve. We've the two Shimano bait runners and Fox drop off arms, alarms and stands. So it's a very standard setup. Um, it definitely works. I've brought in good fish on it. So uh, we'll uh, go from there. Now, so I said it earlier, this video is probably going to be me making tea, and uh, this is all we have so far. Yeah, one good fish could make it all up in the very, very last hour. So, uh, happened plenty of times before, reeling in rods after a long day sitting, actually on the boat this particular time, and reeled it in, 
and was turning around to my second rod and the second rod started going and I landed with a 14 and a half pounder so you, n you never know you're always in for the for the chance so it's better chance here than been at home so it's always worth it out and you enjoy it so that's the main thing but uh, anyway I'm gonna get back to my tea and uh, we'll go from there Lads, I think we have one. That's one of the hardest things about dead baiting. Oh, you pull, catches, gone. At least we know it might be starting to feed. Um, I moved my rods. So I have one over there uh, where original place was. But then I have one here now. Reason being, I mean, the two of them out there are kind of in the one swim, and there's a bit of a point here. So I said, well, look at it. I'll go kind of the sheltered side of it. You can't actually cast over the other side and see how we get on. Yeah, so these have got to run, and uh, we know the pike are here, and hopefully they'll start feeding now. So, uh, yeah, we'll go on from there, and uh, positive sign with a not so positive outcome, but. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. This one's just after going, lads. Give me a beep. Go on. Only a small one. It's not a blank. One. Hey lads, one fish, not a blank. <laughs> oh, this is not a blank, huh? Get, get the pollens about that size. Anyway, back you go. <sighs> now, so. Doesn't take a lot to make me happy. Two pounder, I caught. So, blank save, but sure, uh, it's not what we're after, but certainly a welcome sight. Jack was about that size, and the bait was using with that size. So, it's nearly half the size of it. So that's why, my theory of, using big baits, you're still going to catch small fish, so if there's anything any size, it's still going to want it. Uh, just comment below what's your kind of opinion on, uh, should we use big ones, small ones, should we use medium, one big, one small, whatever you think, uh, just let me know. I'd be interested to kind of know what you're thinking or what's what. So, uh, yeah, so it's only around three o'clock now, so we've another about two hours of daylight. Well. Yeah, but another an hour and a half, now 45 minutes of daylight. So uh, hopefully we can uh, nab a decent one then. Come on, lads. There we go. Not very big. No, not very big. Still another decent fish. Stay for the jacks, but it looks like. There we go. <laughs> She's not a 20 pounder, but uh, she, uh, she's definitely worth coming out for. Uh, put it back. Put it back out and see if we get another one. They all seem to be fairly small here, but uh, we'll keep going anyway.
There we go, lads. That's totally too. Not a bad day. I don't know if it's going against me. I think it's not small. What? Another fish again. I actually know where it is. Lads, that mightn't be that small. Where is it? It's gonna be some fight. I got caught around the weeds. That's what happened. There we go. Guess if we can keep this up for the next hour, I'd like to add a pound each fish. Wouldn't be long getting to a double. So, get them back. That fish felt a lot heavier. And I couldn't figure out why because. Uh, wait. I don't have to go and don't have to the pike just hitting it on the way out. The arm hasn't dropped. Markle's working today, lads. All that stuff, look at. Now, guys, I'm going to give it another 15 minutes and. Uh, See how we get on. Don't know if there'll be any more or not, but uh, we'll definitely, and I'll record it if we do, but I say that'll be it for the evening. We uh, we got three jacks, uh, nothing any size obviously, but good fun. So uh, it was worth coming out, it was worth sticking it through, and uh, just around dinner time I was thinking I'm a waste of my time, but uh, no, stuck it out, and fish started biting. Yeah, so be sure to subscribe and uh, press the notifications bell to see any of my fishing videos that are coming up. And there'll be lots more of me out in the boat, on the bank, dead baiting, luring as the spring comes in. So uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe and uh, you'll also be able to follow me on Instagram, on Rod Adventures. And you'll see that uh, all I'm doing and all I'm catching and go from there. Alright, thanks for sticking by and uh, we'll see you very soon.